Hi friends, welcome. It's so nice to see you today. I hope you're having a blessed and beautiful day. So today we are going to try doing heat transfer vinyl on Dollar Tree leather and see how that comes out. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. And if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. This is the color I'm going to be using. This is from Hobby Lobby. It's the Paper Studio brand and it is currently on sale. So I am going to just put this on my mat here. And remember, shiny side down and then also make sure that you mirror your image and this is going to be a very intricate cut so I'm not sure how long it's going to take we'll see all right so here's my leather I didn't show cutting it out I did have to use a long a long mat on it and it is uh, 15 by 9.7. And I had already done a video on covering the composition book. So that's why I chose not to show cutting it out. So, but I have my leather and I have my Easy Press Mini heating up. And I'm going to put this on with spray adhesive. Trying not to get quite as crazy as I did on my last one. So I feel like these books like covered like this in leather. I feel like they're super cute. And especially for back to school, like, you know, um, teacher, student. I think it's a cute way to just have an inexpensive book. Now, you know, the Dollar Tree ones are not, you know, quite as good, I think, as maybe you know, some of the other ones, but it's still, I mean, you're going to write in it, toss it away. So I figure you could, you know, do this for two fifty, or when school supply time comes, you can get the composition notebooks for super cheap. And, you know, you can make a cute, cute little notebook, you know? And I'm just covering the composition notebook. So I think back to school time, you could probably make this even less. And you could do this like even with fabric or, you know, felt, whatever. And it's just making sure that I have it pulled over the cover completely. And I cut this with my Cricut. And the thing is, in all honesty, this um, leather stretches, you know. So, you know, you might still have to trim it a little bit. I didn't on my last one, but I did notice that it stretched. See, look, I wasn't quite up enough. But the good thing with the fact that it stretches, I can also stretch it. All right, so we already did a video on, you know, covering this. So I didn't want to make that, like, the big thing. Because really, I'm going to try and do a heat transfer on this and see if the Dollar Tree um, 
leather is going to hold up for it. Just trim my little, this has got round edges, so I'm just going to trim those. And I just think these, this is so cute. Like you can make some really cute notebooks with these. And you know, you gotta be in school. Why not have some cute notebooks? Look how cute that is. Like, it's really actually a nice looking notebook. All right, so now I have my piece. So I'm gonna tell you, I did a video where I messed this up and then I tried it again to see if I could still use the roller and I did it super light going only one way and I still was pulling it up and I think maybe because it's just so small so then I printed it again and I did the weeding just using my regular little tape um, method so I normally use painter's tape when I'm doing things that are super thin like this and as I'm weeding, I don't use the painter's tape necessarily to weed it, but as I'm weeding and you know how the little pieces will get like stuck, I just use it to gently, you know, keep from having a bunch of like extra pieces. See like there I do. Because with these, like, super tiny things like this, sometimes it's hard to, you know, get all the little pieces out. So, but here's my little image. And, you know, like I said, I just took it from, um, I just Googled, like, coloring sheets and found one that I liked. Well, I did Disney coloring sheets, and then I found one that I liked, and I did a screenshot, put it into design space, and then brought it in and cleaned it up. So I, I'm choosing to do the ironing after the fact to make sure because the leather does stretch, I want to, you know, make sure that it's in the spot that I want it to be. So that's why I'm ironing after the fact. And also it's good. It'll give me, it'll give me a nice surface, you know? So I'm going to use my heat press mini just because it's more controllable, I feel like. And I am going to use a Teflon sheet. And this Dollar Tree faux leather is so cheap, like I just want to be really careful. So I'm not going to keep the heat in one place for too long, but I want it to, you know, still stick. And let's see. I didn't read the instructions on this one and I should have this one is from Hobby Lobby it's the paper studio they were on sale for 50% off but the way it pulls up I feel like it's probably a let it cool so I'm gonna let it cool and then we'll try and pull it up and see if I need to do anything more to it kind of gentle here. It's not all. Super down.
gonna just do this part here a little more. And then let it cool. that off I'm just gonna put my Teflon back on and then I'm gonna put this over kind of Okay, so this is really, really cute. And something I want you to see, so when I took it off and then put it, um, ironed it without that plastic there, I want you to see this is so cool looking. It The foil, because I'm using foil, the foil actually went into the grains of the faux leather and that is super cool looking. I think I'm actually going to do the sides just a little bit more because of that. Oh yeah, that turned out so cute. See if you can, the light shining on it. But that definitely turned out really, really cute. What do you think? So you can definitely iron on the faux leather, just, you know, being gentle. And I think that this made a super cute little notebook. Granted, I'm a little bit off on my top, but you know, it's still super cute. I'm totally gonna use this. It is adorable. And I really like how the foil like embedded into the grain. Sorry, I'm trying to let you see that, but the light is just so weird. Let me try turning this light off and see. Oh yeah, there you go. So you can see how it just embed into the grains and it just looks really cool. So, all right, well, listen, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you guys have a blessed and beautiful day and I'll see you later, friends. Bye.